So you've been through a dark night of the soul. Maybe it's been two years, three years, five years. You've faced the darkness enough that you're coming to a crossroads where you see that a new life is possible for you. You are kind of looking back at the old life, not quite ready to let it go yet. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you what is going on and how to help you through it. Hi there, beautiful souls. I'm Michelle Duquet. Welcome to my channel, Soulful and Unplugged, a channel about the spiritual awakening journey where I show you how to live a more joyful life by helping you navigate your human journey through your soul's perspective. This is part 11 of my spiritual awakening series, and I will link that playlist up here as well as in the descriptions below. So I delved into it in an intuitive way. I kind of tapped into that intuition in within and asked myself what kind of happened to me when I was going through major shifts and how I can translate that energetically or in simple terms to help you. When you're at a crossroads, you have this decision, this inner knowingness that there is something absolutely powerful out there for you. Perhaps a life where you will feel more harmonious with this truth of this new you that's evolving. And also this kind of reluctance to let go of the old you and let go of this life that felt more secure but wasn't fulfilling. There's also the energetic shift. So at the energetic level, we go through many, many shifts in our awakening journey. I've gone through many shifts, some extremely powerful, and it got me thinking about the energetic system of the body, specifically about how to get ready for this shift. And I was thinking about my own personal experience, thinking back and back and to the major big ones. And this is new to me too. It, it dawned on me, it kind of came to me <laughs> that I was never ready <laughs> for it. I was never prepared for the huge shifts that came. The energy in my body adapted to the shift as it happened. So that makes a lot of sense because I'm thinking, okay, the same way that when we are coming out of that darkness of the soul. We are in a transition phase. Now this is so important. It's very, it's, it's kind of like a sacred time. It's important to honor the process of that transition. Like in my experience, a little bit like, what's that, what's that term when you reverse engineer? It's kind of like what I did. Okay, I went through these experiences, so I reversed engineered. Well, what happened? How, how did this happen? So, energetically, I was never ready, but my energy changed my electrical body, my electromagnetic field changed with the shift. So it's not necessarily that you have to make yourself ready for the shift, make yourself ready for the transition, make yourself ready for this new life that you are transitioning into. For the choices of which direction your life is going to take, the key is making the choice. There's a lot of resistance that is built into our spiritual awakening, resisting the shift, resisting the transition, resisting letting go of the past and accepting this new future. And that is by design because it gets us to a point where we can walk into our own personal power by having to make a choice. So by having to make that choice, that very powerful choice that I am now moving into my new life, everything will shift from that. So it's like you leap, then it shifts. You make the choice, then the shift comes. As far as 
you know highly spiritual experiences um, anytime I, I experience something I experienced a near-death experience I experienced uh, infinite consciousness um, I had some extraordinary energetic uh, experience astral projection I just discovered by doing this review that I was never ready it was not about being ready it was about just flowing with the flow of my life these experiences happened and that is what shifted my energy completely so this transition has two phases one is the choice we make then everything shifts and two is flowing and accepting that phase of not knowing which way to go or that phase of really feeling like you're not moving forward that is a transition phase by the time you get to that phase you've faced enough of your own shadows to have cleared the way for this shift and it's about flowing with it allowing it to flow and accepting where you're at in the present moment understanding that when you really feel that pull for the new life, you really feel this enormous resonance with a new direction you're going into and very little resonance with your old life, then at that point, it's time for you to make a choice and to dive in with both feet into one area and one direction. It doesn't mean that you stop being a human being and that your own life doesn't affect you and that the people in your life don't affect you through the interactions. You are still very much a human being, very much going through a human journey. But your energy will shift after you've made the decision. But the important point I wanna make is that there's no forcing it. There will be a time when the unfulfilling part of your past life is less than the incredible pull you feel for your new life. And that is when you are allowing yourself to feel the time that will be right to make that choice. And so many of you have been talking about that feeling of feeling blocked and having been in the dark night of the soul for so many years. I believe that this means that you are approaching your time of transition and that if you can find that place within yourself that is self-loving and accepting of where you are at and find a way to flow with what is happening, you will reach that inner knowing when you'll know it's time to make that decision and that choice. And if you're more at the energetic level and you are shifting your energies in, in a big way, understand that sometimes if you're evolved enough in your spiritual awakening journey to feel all of the energies, then what is happening is just allow the energies to move through you allow the energies to flow through you and as a major quantum leap shift happens your energetic body your electrical system your electromagnetic field will rise to the occasion kind of thing <laughs> you know will rise to your new energy level i know this is just a very simple video about a very complex subject and it's not a one-time event it is a lifetime of processing and evolving but I really wanted to offer my insights into this that are fairly new to me as well and hopefully this can help you as you're going through your transition out of the dark night of the soul Mwah. sending lots and lots and lots of love bye for now